reasonable domain and range notes. Joe has an after school job at the local sporting goods store. He makes $6.50 an hour. He never works less than five hours and no more than 20 hours in a week. The equation S of H equals 6.5 H can be used to model this situation where H represents the number of hours Joe works in a week. We will now answer the question, is the problem discrete or continuous? Before we do that, I'm going to identify some important information within this word problem. So if we are given the equation S of H equals 6.5 H, we want to identify what our domain and range are in this situation. S of H is your function notation for your Y value. So this is our range. It is exactly like your Y value in standard form. 6.5 H, H is the variable that's gonna represent the domain here. It is our input value. So this is your x's if you were thinking about standard notation. And this equation comes from the fact that 650 an hour, that goes with your variable 6.5h. So let's answer, is the problem discrete or continuous? Well, because we're talking about working no less than five hours, or no more than 20 hours, we can work 5.5 hours, we can work 6.2 hours, and this can be measured in between those values. So here it's going to be continuous. And when we identify a problem as continuous, we will write our answers, domain and range, as an inequality. Inequality meaning we will we will use the symbols to write our domain and range. Now to identify a reasonable domain. Well, we identified the domain as X, which is H in this situation, and H represents the hours. So our domain is the hours in this situation. So if we want a reasonable domain based on the fact that he doesn't work anything less than five hours, so he can work exactly five hours and no more than 20 hours. So he can work exactly 20 hours and anything less than it. He can work exactly five hours and anything greater than that. So in order to write the reasonable domain, we know the restrictions are at five to 20. We're talking about the domain in hours. H is our domain. You can use X, but in this situation, since they give us H as our domain, we will use H. Now to come up with your inequality symbols, as I mentioned, he can work exactly five hours or anything more than that. So we will use the less than or equal to because we're talking about all of the numbers between five and 20. And if he can work no more than 20 hours, he can work exactly 20 hours or anything less than that. So we're going to use our less than or equal to symbol. And because our less than or equal to symbol is representing all of the hours between 5 and 20, and we can have an equal to because he can work exactly 5 or anything over that. He can work exactly 20 or anything less than that. So in words, we need to practice writing the inequality as all real numbers greater than or equal to 5 and less than or equal to 20. If you need time to pause this video, please do. I'm going to move down to the next question. And the next question is going to be, what is the reasonable range for this situation? So in this example, to identify the reasonable range, we will need to 
use our x values to help us identify the restrictions on the range. So because our range here is represented by s of h, s of h is going to be the total amount earned. So in order to identify what the total amount earned for five hours and for 20 hours, we need to plug in those values into our function notation. So I'm gonna show that work off to the right. I'm going to take the equation we're given, s of h equals 6.5 h, and I'm going to plug in the values they give me for my x's, beginning with 5. I need to figure out where will my range begin, so s of 5 equals 650 times 5. When I plug in 5 for h, it's multiplication, this is function notation. So 650 times 5, s of h, s of 5 will equal 32.5. So I know my y values will begin at 32.5. Now let's go ahead and identify what the restriction is on the right side, or on the, at the top of your graph, since we're talking about the reasonable range. So we will now plug in 20 for h. So if I have s of 20 equals 650 times 20, I'm identifying when x is 20, what is the y value? So s of 20 equals 650 times 20 is 130. We are talking about dollars, so you can put your dollar symbol. So I know my y values will be restricted at $130. So in the middle here, we usually put y for the range. Well, in this situation, we're given s of h as our y value. So we're going to use that function notation to write the reasonable range. It's not wrong if you put y. That is still the correct notation. I'm using function notation to write our reasonable range for this situation. So s of h is the same thing as y. And then to come up with our inequality symbols is to identify if they work exactly five hours, then I'll make exactly $32.50. Or if they work anything over that, we're going to have that inequality symbol of less than or equal to, to show that. And if they work 20 hours, they make exactly $130 or anything less than that if they work 19.5, 19.6. Um, and so we use our inequality symbol for less than or equal to. And again, this notation is just function notation. You're going to see function notation. You're going to see why. I'm just giving you another example of how your range can be written. And in words... We will write all real numbers greater than or equal to 3250 or 32.5 and less than or equal to 130. Please go back and write down anything that did not, that you were not able to write down the first time.